Uh, just uh, talked to Ed, and so he got out of the hospital here within the last 30 minutes, so they're on their way back, you know, but uh, um, so he's improved. I mean, obviously he'll be out, you know, with the situation he's had, but at least they, they got it uh, situated, and, and um, he's on his way back. Do you have any way of knowing is this going to be a long-term thing now, or is it something? Uh, yeah, I was told three to four weeks, you know, and he should be back to – to, to okay and, and and you know as far as his lung and that goes so um, you know by all likelihood he's, he's he'll be done for the rest of the season. How tough is that going to be? I mean, it's just another uh, you know defensive back you got to replace. Same answer. Take the healthy ones, find out what they do best, and and practice them and get them in the game and give it your best shot because they ain't going to do any good. Uh, you know, it's one thing about the NFL. We can't go out and pick somebody off of waivers and, you know, and, and that. And so, uh, you know, I thought Keontae Harden the other night stepped in and did a great job. And, and uh, so we'll just take the next healthy one and and throw them in there and go. But, uh, you know, it's been a weird season as far as that goes. But at the same time, our kids, you now they say they've answered the bell and haven't used his excuses and continue to compete. And I expect we'll do the same. You like the culture of the defense, uh, you know, you see them playing hard throughout against Ohio State. Do you like the attitude so the replacements come in? There's yeah. A yeah, I really do. I, I've liked the kids' defense way they compete all year. Like I say, it, is the Nebraska game was just a weird, you know, Devondre wasn't able to practice that week, and, and Cody did practice, and then he had – I mean, we just had a lot of things there. And, and uh, I, like I say, I could have handled a lot better. And, but besides that, I mean, our, our kids on defense have showed up and competed and give us a chance uh, to win the ball games. And, and with some injuries, just some, I mean, Demarius Travis was, if you'd told me we'd play this well without him, you know, when the season started, because he's a big leader getting us lined up and Antonio Johnson's done well and those kids back there and linebacker. The good thing is, except for the one week, we've stayed pretty healthy at linebacker. And uh, mm -hmm. I, I think those kids have played really well. And then, uh, against Ohio State, to have to move Galen Elmore went inside, and they're 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 an unselfish group. And wherever we've lined them up and let them practice, they've they've really done well. So very very happy for them. But at the same time, you know we got three big ones left to go, and and uh, we can't afford to have another slip up like uh, like we did defensively against Nebraska. Coach, have you heard anything more about uh, the contract situation for you going forward here? I haven't. I mean, we've got back so late. On Sunday, and and uh, so hopefully, like I say, I'm I'm hopeful we'll hear something this, this week, but have not had a chance to do that. I haven't this this uh, Floyd of Rosedale is a pretty big deal. Of course, speaking of that, I mean, last year you guys were able to put up 51 on them, and, yeah. and uh, they're obviously going to remember that. And right. You also talked earlier this year about some of the bigger losses sticking with you more. How do you think the, the, what last year's result was will impact Saturday? Yeah, we tell our kids all the time, what happened last week has no effect on the game this week. It's who shows up. And, and you got to go through the week in the proper process of, of preparing. And and you need to do that. If you don't, you're going to have troubles. And so uh, you know, it snowballed. I mean, you have games like that. We, we, we weren't that many points better than Iowa last year. I mean, a good football team. It just so happens that between the turnovers and everything, just snowballed and got on a roll. And, more things went our way that day, and so, uh, um, and they're they're playing better this year. There's no question they've they've kind of gelled, and things are going their way. So it'll be a tremendous challenge, but uh, at the same time, say being a trophy game, our kids will be excited, and, and I expect us to play well. But it'll be a tough environment, and and uh, but I'm a big believer in previous games have nothing to do with with this week's game, as long as you go through the process of preparing. You know, defensively, they're they're playing better. You know, on defense, um, I think they've gotten back to uh, um, what they've done in the past. I, their front four has really played well for them. And offensively, you know, they they haven't really changed a lot. Everybody has little little changes you make, but uh, the quarterback, more athletic, can make more plays with his legs than he did. And then, uh, you know, the Wiseman is more of a ram it up in their tailback and. The one thing that, that the tailback this year, he's much more patient, and he's done a good job of finding seams there in their zone um, scheme and, and getting some big runs. So uh, I think their tailback is 
is playing really well. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things that I think they've stayed pretty healthy. And, and um, so uh, um, there, there's no question they're, they're more um, – I don't know, just playing as a complete team is like last year they they made more mistakes and this is a typical Iowa team you don't see them making a lot of mistakes to beat themselves they're going to make you beat them and and so it, it'll be a challenge. You guys went into that game against them last year. You were both alive in the division race. And yeah. I mean, but does when these rivalry games come up? I mean, this for example, you guys can't win the division right mm -hmm. now, but you can still. <clears throat> Spoil it for them. Just how much does that add to the rivalry? Right. I think, but again, being the trophy game and bordering states. I think any time you play teams from bordering states, there's a bragging right that goes along with it. Now, you know, so yeah, there, there'll be a lot of excitement. Our kids be excited. They'll be excited. A, a night game there. You know, a game I remember is two years ago going there and getting it handed to us. You know, I mean that's the game that I remember. You know, so uh, um, you know it, it's tough to win on the road, but. Uh, at the same time, we just do the things we need to do, and they play the way they've been playing. I, I think it'll be a, a real good ball game. Do you think there's a real plus for you, Tracy, with this being your third straight night game? Some advantages to that, kind of getting the routine with the kids? Or? Uh, I think more important with this being a night game is how late we got back from Ohio State, and now we're not hurrying up. And if it had been a Saturday morning game, I'd really <coughs> been concerned because of that. But since those two games back to back are night games, I, I think it's more from a rest and being able to physically regenerate your, your batteries again and get them going. I, I think that's why uh, more so the night game, you know. And I, I think, you know, there's a lot more excitement around night games for the most part. And as a coach, they're hard because you don't get any time to recover. You know, the game's over, you get up. Next morning, you go right to film, you know, but as far as excitement for the kids part, I'm a big fan of, of night games. What's Mitch Leibner done? You know, one of the Achilles of this team obviously has been a beat up offensive line. He paid the price for it. Yeah. He's also proven to be pretty tough and that he keeps coming back. What's he done inside this team as a leader to, to, to show uh, the weapon? Yeah, I don't think our kids have ever doubted Mitch on that part. He works hard at practice. A lot of it had to do at the beginning of the year up front, and we, we he got beat up. Uh, you know, I mean, he really did. and. The offensive line got to where we gotten better, and like I say, the timing, everything's better. He hasn't taken as near as many hits. I even think you see when he runs, he gets down now, so he's not taking as many hits. And since he's gotten healthier against Ohio State, he was able to escape a little bit better. He's moving around better to make more plays. So uh, tremendous kid, great leader, works hard. Nobody ever ever questions how important it is to for to win, and and uh, um, so uh, our, our kids, I think, have, have a tremendous amount of respect for him and. The Ohio State, obviously their front four caused us to where we couldn't throw some of the balls we wanted to throw and got us off our spots in that. But uh, a lot of that had to do with, with who we were playing against. And uh, we have to do better, I mean, obviously. But at uh, the same time, we, we need to keep him healthy for the, for the way he's playing. He is making plays for us. And, and uh, even the balls he's throwing are catchable to where, you know, KJ has just done a tremendous job catching the football. And, and, um, so uh, I'm excited. You know, it's always good at the end of the year. You want to get better each week, and Mitch is truly one of them. Not only has he gotten healthier, he's played better and better each week as we went along. I was only allowed three rushing touchdowns, Coach. What what are they doing that's so effective? You know, their front fours. You know, I was I. If you've seen them, they're a four-three team. They're doing the same thing they did a year ago. They're just playing better, and confidence has so much to do with it. Then, then. You know the scheme and da da da, and they they do it. Like I say, I always talk about putting kids in a position to do what they do best. And right now, their kids are very confident, and and um, the things they're asking them to do, they're very good at. So we have to find a way to do better than what we did last week against Ohio State for sure. To and that will help out Mitch also. But it is a challenge with how well they're playing versus a run. Yeah, throw the ball a lot. Take whatever they give us. That's what I tell everybody. You know, if they give you the run, you got to be able to run it. And every weakness, every defense has a weakness. And if they give us the throws, we got to take the throws they give us. How confident are you that your running game can improve a little bit over, even though you're banged up on the O line and, and your running backs are banged up? I'm always a pretty confident guy. <laughs> we'll we'll get after it, and I, I think we we can run it better. Yeah, and we will. Any good news on the? Running backs? On the running back. Yeah, 
you know, we met they had, we'll see how they practice today. You know, with classes and that, sometimes he hadn't had a chance to work everybody out yet. And so we'll see how it goes. And then I think Wednesday is we'll, we'll let everybody know when you get back Wednesday where we're at with all of that. Okay. You see Roderick staying in the mix even if you have the other two back? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. So they're, no matter what, if they get back, they're still going to be banged up. And so we, we got to be careful. and. And uh, make make sure Roderick's ready to go. Yep. What can you say about how he's kept his head in there? I mean, when you put him in in Columbus, he you know he had a little juice in his step. Oh yeah. He could have he could have checked out. Yeah, no question. But, you know, he loves football. I, I and I think you can say that about a lot of our kids. They love football, and we've been able to keep uh, Roderick in there with special teams, playing on special teams and things like that. So yeah, he hadn't got the carries he wanted, but he's got to play and loves the game and and. Uh, uh, being a senior, you know he'll he'll, he'll be prepared and, and ready to go, and and uh, I think he'll do a great job. We got to call on him. How is KJ been? I mean, six six catches for first downs or touchdowns on on Saturday, and that's been his his mo all year. About yeah. How important is he yeah. into what you guys have done, and what have you seen? And, I mean, you got to keep drives going. The main thing is he's caught the ball. I mean, he's made some tough catches, and ball gets close to him, and and. Uh, he makes the catches he needs to make, and he at least gets to the stick. So, uh, tough kid, tough kid, he really is. And he's playing a lot of plays, but uh, at the same time, is that uh, he doesn't want to come out of there. And so, uh, he's a legitimate threat every time. And and so, uh, uh, you know, we we've got to find a way to where people can't just pick on him now, and and we got to make sure we're we're taking the open receiver. But it's awfully hard not to throw to him because of all the plays that he makes. And I always say you're going to go down, you go down with your best. And right now, he's our best. What do you think about Jack Lynn's development? Um, he came in kind of undersized, right? You first got him built to look like this, and then just kind of how he's gone even the last two years. Well, yeah, it's kind of how we are with, with the recruiting aspect of it. We have to take some kids that, that have the talent to play. They're just a little bit undersized at the time. and. And get him in a weight room, and and uh, you know he's playing now when most people probably should play. You know, you get to your red shirt sophomore, junior year, you know, and, and so um, you know. And the, and the thing that he is, he's such a great student of the game, and uh, it's a, the thing that Jack has helped us with his development with some of the injuries. We've been able to move Jack around, and he's really played well wherever we we have played him. And so uh, um, uh, we we would definitely miss him. You know, and uh, you know he's a little banged up right now, and, and but everybody is. But that kid shows up to practice every day. I mean, again, just like a lot of our kids on defense, I think they enjoy playing the, playing the game, and and he's put awful lot of work into it from when he first got here to where he is now. But he's always had the talent level. It's a matter of getting his size up to where it needs to be. Okay, one more question, Coach Clay. Beautiful. Have a good week.